Welcome back to the channel, amazing hackers. Today we're going to talk about Nahamsek. Now, having talked to Nahamsek a few times before, uh, I can tell that this is a very hard working person. You guys will see from what he has out there, from what he does, from his job, that this is somebody who really did deserve his success, at least in my opinion. First, of course, there is Twitch. His Twitch channel, we'll get more into that later. Also, YouTube channel, where not only he puts himself on, but he also regularly invites guests on to bring their knowledge and spread it amongst the community. I always appreciate it when people do stuff for the community like that. So if you ever think about creating a YouTube channel, definitely do it. Now, he also has a Udemy course, which I will get into a little bit already. Um, one of the things that you'll immediately notice when you grab this course is that there are actual labs that you can use yourself, you can train on, so it's not just a explanation. As you can see, it has a beautiful four and a half stars with 2040 ratings and 20,151 uh, 20, students. The last update happened in February of 2021 and that is one of the only things that this course has been critiqued about quite a lot is the fact that it hasn't been updated regularly. I can tell you guys updating a course like this on a regular basis of course you can add new vulnerability types you can add new things in there but the basics of the vulnerability types will remain valid for a very long time so updates are they necessary? Not always, as long as you have the same injection, uh, same vulnerability types. Of course, there are going to be new developments, but that's not what this course is all about. It's not about teaching you the extremes of cross-site scripting or SQL injection or SSRF. It's about getting you introduced, maybe teaching you a few techniques so you can start and explore more on your own. That's often the hardest part, is what we've noticed, is getting into all of this. So that is what this course really helps on. Now having again created a course myself on this particular topic, this is a very difficult topic as well because you're often plagued by guilt. Should I release a course? Should I, release, should I not release a course? We all know what bug bounties is like. We all know that it's really hard to teach somebody bug bounties. So that's why this can be a little bit of a hard thing to wrap your head around. Now, uh, I think he's done a fantastic job, don't get me wrong. I do think that there might be a small update here and there. Only reason I say that is because if you update every now and again, Udemy definitely promotes your course a lot more. And I think that while this course might get a few more updates potentially, it does have a great basis. So that's on his bug bounty course. He also has a lot of free resources. So not just his own GitHub where you can look, where he outlines a lot of free resources that you can use. This is what's so freaking awesome here. He doesn't just promote his course. He doesn't even really promote his course. He has a course and you can buy it, but he's not actively promoting it that much. Now you can see that he also promotes other people, other resources that he thinks are very useful in the community and he actually works on that. So hats off to that. Now he also has a Discord channel, which I recommend you guys join. Go have a look, go have a talk and interact with like-minded people. Further on his website, we can find a Beyond DEF CON website. Now in here, um, you can find a talk with him, Go Beyond DEF CON with Nahamsek and others. Definitely worth a watch. This is from the summer of 2021 to Las Vegas DEF CON. It's something that I really want to get someday. Someday I'll get there. In this about section you learn a little bit more on him especially so you can see that he's helped identify and exploit over 600 security vulnerabilities across 100 plus web, uh, of web and mobile applications for companies such as Yahoo, Google, Airbnb, Snapchat, the US Department of Defense, Yelp and more. I'm sure that has even grown by now. He co-founded Bug Bounty Forum as well. 
which is freaking awesome and if, if you guys don't know bug bounty form i'll also put a link in the um description below uh which has a community of by now much more than 500 active hackers sharing their ideas and experiences he's held free workshops in the past and paid trainings to teach others about security and web application hacking so he does some streaming and he liked playing video games now i think all of us have played a lot of video games right now i don't play games much anymore i should really do it because i have elden ring but that's beside the point uh, so some other research resources here you can find some slides of defcon 27 and it's the little things getting started into bug bounties here are some awesome resources as well for you guys and of course his videos which is a link to his youtube channel one more thing that's on here is his blog before we go although this hasn't been updated since 2020 uh, so this might have been a little bit outdated but this is not what it's about this is uh, just part of what he has on offer I'm gonna have to continue fast though because my battery is dying also of course a twitter account with 127,000 followers at the time of writing we can see he has a twitch account as well with 38,000 to uh, 38,000 31,800 Jesus followers on there and he does regular streaming now uh, I don't know from when these are this is two months ago last month so it's a few times a month he might upload and it's related to hacking of course on his YouTube channel he brings a lot of good information so definitely go follow him of course now I'm saying link will be in the description below also a Instagram account where he goes under the handle Nahamsek, but you can also find him under his real name and I'm really sorry if I butcher this Ben Sadig I practice this Sadig Sadeg Sadegipur sorry if I butchered this I practiced this before I promise we have 21,100 followers on there and 1,200 posts with also a Facebook account although not much more people follow this I also have a Facebook account same thing and not a lot of people follow me on Facebook either because I simply don't post on Facebook I post on Instagram and it auto posts to Facebook that's it for his socials as for bug bounties as we can see on hacker one he is in the 99 percentile with a massive 7.0 signal 20.42 impact let's see it's the 80th percentile and he has 689 reputation making him the 13th, uh, 93rd rank there's a lot of reports in here uh, airbnb snapchat hacker one itself lift this is a great one if you haven't read this one by the way you should definitely read that one uh, we have linkedin hacker one snapchat valve us dod so if you weren't impressed already this should definitely help as for a bug crowd he also has a bug crowd account with all-time bond amount of 3025 and a current rank of 126 with accuracy of 100 percent and he has p1 warrior level 3 <laughs> wow <laughs> uh, there's also a integrity account but i don't know if this is his real account uh, i'm not sure almost two years ago there were a bunch of Red Bull uh, things that were reported on here I think this is when Red Bull first opened on integrity and as for his career that's equally as impressive as we can see he's been an application security engineer at Buckrod for a year and a month and then he moved over to Hulu in the same position before moving to Hacker One, where he stayed in no more less than nine different positions nine right one two three four five six sorry six my bad how did i get to nine it says six right there he's also the vice president of research and community at hadrian at the current time so that is massively impressive um, if we look at his github it's not just for himself that he does this it's really clear that he does it for the community brings out some 
generally good repos as well such as the resources for beginners and bug bounty hunters and then of course we also have his Nahamcon which he organizes which is really fantastic if you guys haven't taken a look at this yet do so do yourself a favor do me a favor take a look at Nahamcon because he has fantastic keynote speakers every single year also a trihackme account that I found with a lot of rooms complete in the top 3% uh, of all time. Uh, again, not sure if this is real, uh, I'm sick, but I'm guessing so. And then we also have some videos, of course, guest appearances on other channels like Network Chuck, David Bumball, and we have some security trails articles. I'm sure there's a lot more that this amazing hacker has been putting out, but this is what we could find um, on him. Uh, we want, I don't want to dig too deep into personal people's lives. I want to report on what's available on the surface level web to a large degree here, so I don't invade on anybody's privacy, but this amazing hacker, as you can see, has done some amazing, has achieved some amazing feats in his lifetime. I'd like to thank you all for watching Amazing Hackers. I'm really glad this video finished before my battery ran out. And now I am gonna run for my charger. Bye Amazing Hackers!